What's up, y'all? Welcome to Dish Nation. Hey, hey. welcome. Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. And we brought guests. But listen, sit back, relax. Let us dish your latest celebrity news for you. Now, L.A. and Portia are out today, but guess what? We imported somebody straight from L.A. We got Andrew Freund in the building. Yeah. Hello. And of course, there's Brad, there's Gary with the T, and a whole bunch of news. Now, later, is Nicki Minaj is going to be getting married very soon, and Andy Cohen gets an actor very, very mad with a question. But first, guess what, y'all? And I need you to help out. We've got to, you know, clinch it together. Yep. We got a double smash alert. Not a double. We got a double smash alert. Uh oh. Andrew Ford, you got to, like, clinch your fist. All we, right. What do I, what do I got to do? We got a smash alert. There you go, your street cred's going through. Can I go, like, I got to, can I smash them together? Or That's just... like Wonder Woman. Uh, hey, whatever works. Hey, whatever gets hey, going, right? Works. Now, so I guess the rumors are true about Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. The pair was seen out getting closer and closer in Miami. Uh, they were tongue wrestling in a pool. Take a look. They look Girls amazing. Is. I think Shawn and Camilla looks like a perfect couple. I love the way their lips touch each other, and it's just a nice pool scene. I want to reenact that. Who would you reenact that with? Um, who would I reenact that with? Probably, um, probably Brad. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would be adorable. Right. Yes, no. that would be great. That would actually be similar to what's happening in this picture. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, on to the next one. Literally, a People Magazine exclusive that hit newsstands this Friday called Lady Gaga out giving a little tongue action to a guy that wasn't Bradley Cooper. Oh, man. Never together. Yeah, he's married anyway, so she'll keep her legs crossed well, to marry they're breaking up, I think. They, yeah, yeah I they, think it's over for them. Really? But I, I sat down with them for Star is Born. We aired it here. I knew they weren't together. Like, they're, they're work colleagues. They're great actors, but... There was never, I think it's just people wanted them to be together. I did, yeah. I did. Well, apparently uh, Lady Gaga likes a good mix down because she was spotted kissing her audio engineer, Dan Horton, in Los Angeles. Hey, sometimes hey. it happens like That's that. That's right, honey. In the most unexpected places, you mm, find right. love. Stars like real people, too. They sure absolutely, do. They absolutely, absolutely. Really I know her vocal's going to be crisp on the next album. They gonna okay. <laughs> so much TLC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, moving on. I hear wedding bells for Nicki Minaj and her bae, Kenneth Petty. They're getting ready to walk down the aisle, honey. And according to sources, the rapper and her boyfriend were recently spotted at the Beverly Hills Courthouse applying for their marriage license, Gary. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, y'all, usually you have to get married within 90 days of getting the license. Uh, so do you think Nikki is really going to get married that soon? She don't need to, and not to him either. Well, why are you I mean, saying this that? Man went to the pen for manslaughter. He got all um, um some kind Gary, of. Gary, um, you know what? Like, People like, make mistakes. What, People lo make what? Mistakes? love is love, right? Yeah. Are they no, love sir, each other? What you mean, love is love? Not no damn convicted felon. No. I'm a convicted felon, bitch. You don't love me. Well, I love you, but I don't love you like that to be married with you to give you my coins. No. But I want to go to the wedding. How do you think that wedding is going to be with oh, Nikki and Kenneth? Probably. Fabulous. Yeah. Right? Oh, she ain't gonna cheat. Like the cake's gonna be <laughs> ill, the, the barbs is gonna be out in full force. Yeah. You know she gonna do stuff to turn heads, honey, whatever she does. So she's taking this nation poll, like what color her hair's gonna be. I think she's gonna shock everybody, go all natural. Her hair's gonna be black at the wedding. I think it okay. would be black or brown. Like, like with up, like an updo. Like she'll look classic. But yeah, yeah. I mean, but I just, why can't some of these women marry up? Why you gotta keep marrying? Sometimes wow. you want to stick to people right. that you know. Like she, this guy knew her before she was popping. Exactly. Well, he should have got with her before she was. He popping. was locked up. They, I think right. they were together when they were kids, Gary. <laughs> we love you, Nikki. Even though Gary might not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Brett. I know you're going to hate this one, or maybe you're going to love it. Hard to say. But your uh. best friend, Mariah Carey, is now passing the torch. Oh. Lil Nas X and his Old Town Road remix with country singer Billy Ray Cyrus has scored a 17th week at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, breaking Mariah's record for her song, One Sweet Day with Boys the Men. That's awesome. And you know, here's how cool Mariah is. Like the gracious diva she is, she congratulated Nas X by sending a message out on social media. She wrote, congrats to Lil Nas X on breaking one of the longest running records in music history. We been blessed to hold this record with a song that means a great deal of boys and men and myself and has touched so many. Keep living your best life. That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. That's well, awesome. Who would have ever thought that song, though? Because there's so many song. other songs that, like, stick in your head and yeah. other ones, but when you look at how this song has transcended genres, you yep. never race, yes. culture. But also, so the Mar Mariah song, that was 24 years ago, pre-social media, mm -hmm. and now we have social people retweeting the song, posting about the song, mm -hmm. but also how amazing is it for all the young people out there, especially the young gay people out there, that a young gay black man 
his song is beating this huge record and he's setting an example for a lot of young people out there that it's okay and look how successful this guy mm-hmm. is. And yeah. she is setting an example to not be bitter and to pass the torch. I love you, Mariah. That is awesome. But like, I'm she just, sorry, though, honey. You it's sorry a, what? There's some people that just don't know music. I would That damn song that Lil Nas X sang, honey, and Mariah Carey's song, honey, is on two different planets. I wouldn't... That's... Romeo Gary, song drives me crazy. Gary, uh, but, it, but you know the song, right? You do know the song. It's in I your head. I have to know it. You do know it. You say it in your sleep. Go Wrangler on my booty. All right, guys. So part one of The Bachelor two-part finale aired last night. And spoiler alert, Uh-oh. Hannah sent home Windmill Peter. Now, if you don't know, Peter is the guy that Hannah admitted to having sex with in the windmill twice, not once, but twice twice in one night. Oh. Mm-hmm. So during Peter and Hannah's first face-to-face since the breakup, Hannah confessed something that shocked Bachelor Nation and Peter's parents in the audience. Let's take a look. I was a little dishonest <laughs> about something. Oh. Uh, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, since it's out there and, you know, I did say there was something that Peter and I did twice, um, <laughs> it was actually four times. <laughs> You see the wow. people are laughing like Oprah just gave him a car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, everybody just excited like, oh my God, we thought Peter was gay four times. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Peter was like those samples at Costco that you try four times and you don't end up buying the product. I, his, his pops was happy. I yeah. have a theory about this. I bet you she chooses none of those guys. Because think about if you're the guy that she chose, right, who we don't know yet. Right. Would you want your girl saying, oh, I had sex four times with this other guy? Like Not on live TV? And okay. that's a lie about who could have sex four times in one night? One I don't know what's Sorry, wrong guys, with your junk. Yeah. <laughs> you I mean, what if you have a pill to yes, help you? you can. Well, you must need a pill then. Huh? You don't even need a pill. <laughs> you some, you take a break and... Get back at it. What's wrong with you? Four times. Gary, all you do is lay on your stomach. <laughs> well, yeah, what? Well. <laughs> you don't got to do no work. You said you just lay there. What, what's the problem? But, I mean, you get in different positions. The lithotomy, the supine, the prone. The, oh, right I mean, now. The who? Prone. Let me, the prone. The, I, know, I don't even know what that is. The, the supine? lithotomy is when you're on your back and your legs up. The supine, honey, is when you're... I mean, I was okay, scared. that's okay. It can only be unfolded mm. one time a night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Peter's parents looked happiest out of everybody in the crowd. That that I wasn't into that part. I yeah, was like, it was like, I don't want my parents cheering me on for having sex. Exactly. Four times. Yeah. I, I and like, it seemed mm. a bit extra. What they so happy yeah, exactly. about? Yeah. My mom still don't know I had sex, and I'm so glad. So. Gary's a virgin, everybody. Yes. He's a virgin. <laughs> I've never been touched. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I'm just going to find out why Andy Cohen, honey, gets red, baby, for filth, for being messy boots, honey. We'll tell you all about it after the break. Hey, ladies, what's up? Let me tell you about a new way to save money and still smell and feel good. Since I've been using Scentbird, I'm not forced to buy just one bottle of perfume anymore. I can get just enough for the moment for a fraction of the price. That's right, and I've been able to get a 30-day supply of new fragrance or two, and it's been fun. I've been switching up my normal routine. I used to be able to tell where hair crack has been because he used to wear the same cologne for a while. Now, I just can't keep up with him. That's right. Yesterday, I wore Issey Miyake, and today, I got on Burberry, and I plan on trying all the brands with a little help from Scentbird's True Scent Quiz. Now, that's a lot, Crack, but you know Scentbird has over 450 fragrances? I know, but why not when they deliver right to your door? With an exclusive offer for our viewers, you can get 50% off your first month today. That's only $7.50 for your first fragrance. Go to Scentbird.com dish and use my code dish for 50% off your first month. That's only $7.50 for your first fragrance. Visit scentbird.com slash dish to try your first cologne or perfume for just $7.50. Sign on, smell amazing. Hey, Crack, now you know who can be really scary these days? Who? The IRS. Yo, you know any of our viewers need to worry about the IRS. And why is that? Listen up, y'all. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes to the IRS, all you have to do is call Civic Tax Relief for free tax relief information. You mean to tell me the information is completely free? Yup. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Stop added fees and wage garnishments. Finally break free from the IRS. Ooh, child, I feel relieved already. Right, so all our viewers see what new programs you qualify for. This is limited. This information is free. The consultation is free. 
And all you have to do is call? Yep. Call now. Civic Tax Relief Special Tax Hotline can help you discover all the relief programs you qualify for free. Just call 1-800-506-5803. Give it to them one more time here, Craig. Okay, I got you. It's 1-800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call 1-800-506-5803. Dish Nation. Dish Nation. Welcome back to Dish. What's up, y'all? Now, Gary, this tea I got is so messy, just the way you like it. Oh. OMG. So, actor Titus Burgess from Netflix's Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt was on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. And when Andy asked Titus what it was like working with comedian legend Eddie Murphy, things went left quick. Take a look. Was he um, cool to work with? He was I mean, wonderful to work with. He is a brilliant man, and I'm so excited that uh, for all the people who, younger generations who do not know Eddie Murphy, yes. will learn why he is a legend that he is. Did you get to chat with him at all? Because he was very... Of course I did. Why was... wouldn't I? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, no, I just wonder if you got close at all, because he was very problematic for the gays at one point when I was coming Oh, up. I see. So he I... wasn't problematic for Titus. Good. Um, <laughs> and uh, we had a wonderful Hello, time. And we people yeah, can evolve. Talked good. about Dream Girls, and, and oh, good. he should have won the Oscar, I believe. Yes. So uh, he was great. And any troubles he may have had with gay people, I guess, are gone, because he loved me. Good. <laughs> Very good. It's game time, everybody. Lilius White is such an impressive vocalist. What, what, what are you saying, Titus? Keep going, girl. Do oh, your show. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's like a sassy way of saying it. Okay. Wow. But wait, it gets worse. Titus posted this on the gram about Andy Cohen afterwards. She can be a messy queen. Yes, I said it. Don't care he knows either. He should remember his talk show isn't an episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sunday was a display of ratchet behavior by a well-connected man having blatant disregard for one of his guests. He was lucky I had my wits and Christian values that day. Oh, okay. Right. Oh. Come on for the read. Yeah, baby. Yeah, but, but I mean, here's the thing is you go on Andy Cohen, you know it's not 60 Minutes. And he has a segment on the show that's called The Shady Boot. Like, he likes to throw shade, and he yeah. likes to keep it real. So it's not going to be some... He throws out things, and also he's super passionate about gay rights. Right, yeah. right. So I can see kind of both sides of the coin. But I think the beat yeah. up Eddie Murphy about some stuff he said in the 1980s, yeah. you know, people were talking differently at that time. For better or for worse, you yeah. know, it was a completely different time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Comedy, entertainment, things you can get away with saying, and things that we realized was offensive. So, Eddie's a different dude now. He's not yeah. the same yeah. dude he was when he put on a leather suit. Well, and I didn't think Andy was being rude or anything. Like, I didn't think... I think Titus got really upset in the... Where the train was going, though. And it is making it to, uh, be a big mess because now honey, these two queens are going to be fighting, honey, and it's going to be a big mess because who's going to have a career and who not. So, but well, it'll well, be well, great to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Very entertaining. <laughs> uh, so, guys, I just got back from an epic adventure. I got to sit down with the stars of the new movie, Hobbs and Shaw, starring The Rock, of course, Dwayne Johnson, Ooh. and Jason Statham. So on Thursday, you'll see what happened when I went to London and talked with Jason and Idris. Then I jetted off to Hawaii on Friday. Friday, and you'll see my conversation with The Rock. And I brought you guys a sneak peek. Let's take a look. All right, Dwayne, first thing is, is that one of my co-hosts on the show is the acclaimed hip-hop artist DeBrat. And DeBrat is a huge no. rock fan. I love DeBrat. Could you give her a shout-out? Oh, yes, yeah. DeBrat, thank you for being a fan. I'm a fan of you, sister. Yes, ah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, there were times, like back in the day, where banging to those songs in working out that's what functified that was your working out functified it was yes right. like functified <gasps> 92 93 i think around there yeah yeah, yeah. all right Brad, was, you owe me 20 bucks yes that was banging through our locker rooms <laughs> Oh, my God, out. I will go to the ATM for you yeah, right now. Oh, my God, thank you so much. Oh. oh, my God, now he know it ain't a secret no more. He's a huge fan of yours. Shut up, Andy. Oh, my God. I done called you Andy. I don't even know who, what's my name? Oh, my God, dude. Oh. He's a big fan. He is a big brat fan. I had a my whole conversation God. with him about you. Yeah. Mama, you, Mama, you see that? Yeah, we're fanning. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. So what's bigger, the Grammy or this? The Grammy. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do music forever. This ain't gonna happen all the time. Oh my god. Up next, did J Lo hit a foul ball when it came to a man A Rod's birthday cake? We'll explain it after the break. Dish Nation.
Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Dish Nation. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Okay, now, Alex Rodriguez celebrated his 44th birthday over the weekend. Now, while he was hosting Sunday Night Baseball, J-Lo came in with A-Rod's daughters and surprised them with a cake. Now, the cake may have stopped the show, but the cake wasn't a showstopper itself. Mm. Now, take a look at this. It was a basic grocery store cake that said, Happy Birthday, <laughs> with a blank space left for a name, but it wasn't <laughs> even personalized. A-Rod's name was not on the cake, uh, and the whole family left the cake untouched, but don't panic. The people that worked at the, you know, place the way he was working at, they ate the cake. Right, and I, we know that J-Lo and A-Rod don't eat cake. Yeah, there's no way, right? There's no way. They're on some gluten-free... Vegan. Vegan. Mm -hmm. Well, why would you buy a cake, then, if you don't eat it? And my thing is, I don't think she cared for him, honey, because she cared for him. Think about it now, Andrew. She would have had a nice, <laughs> oh, lavish cake made. Oh, Gary, I'm sure this wasn't the on only it. cake. I'm sure this was just to bring to that event. Right. And it was last minute, yeah, I'm but sure... But the public is seeing that cake like me, and I just think it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm sure they had an amazing private cake. Right. They sent some bad. nice PA to go get the cake. The PA mm, got the cake. Mm. Very last minute. So that means, last minute, that means so you are not thinking of your man's cake. That, don't mean, that don't mean they didn't get anything else, Gary. Uh, Listen, J-Lo give, gives him cake in other ways. Hmm. I mean, yeah, come I on. wouldn't want that cake. I'm sure his belly's full. <laughs> yeah. Without the cake. <laughs> he gonna be all right. <laughs> okay, well, we told you about Jennifer's 50th birthday blowout last week, and A-Rod surprised her with a red Porsche, right? Well, this time, Alex got the kids involved and even blindfolded J-Lo for the big moment. But just one thing, J-Lo hasn't driven in a long time, y'all. Take a look. <laughs> Celebrate yet? We haven't landed. Oh, I got it. I got okay, it. Stop, 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 stop. Baby, I know how to drive. I remember. Can I get a double seatbelt? <laughs> hey, how blessed are you when you haven't touched the steering wheel? in, like, so much time that you forgot how to drive. It's a very lucky lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when she was running with Puffy, honey, when they was in that... They, she still didn't drive. She still didn't have to she drive. Was right. <laughs> she was in the Suburbans, right? right. Yeah, people right. drive them right. along. She ran to the train. <laughs> she ran to the train. <laughs> she was trying to get away, huh? <laughs> All right, so you know what time it is? It's, it's deal, deal time! time. Ladies... Are you tired of that unwanted hair on your legs and body? Then you need this portable and convenient body hair remover. It features three heads and a built-in LED light to give you some soft, smooth legs and arms. Oh, I can use this. And you know what else, Gary? It's hypoallergenic and suitable for all skin types. Plus, the waterproof head on the body hair remover can be used wet or dry to remove unwanted hair. Well, how much is it, head crack? Check this out. The Vivitar Silky Smooth Painless Body Hair Remover has been seen as high as 60 bucks, but for the Dish Nation viewers, it's only $19. Ooh, $19? Nice. Just go to morningsafe.com and say Dish Nation sent you. Up next, sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo! See what Big Boy had to say about this version of his hit song right after the break. Hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there. Dish Nation. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Dish Nation. Hey, y'all. Hey. Now, this right here is for all the Outcast fans out there. Now, the homie Big Boy posted on his page a little boy singing one of his popular Outcast songs with a surprise and embarrassed emoji. Now, the meme said, nobody, nobody whatsoever. Kids Bob. This says social media crazy, but don't jump to get your children a Kids Bob album yet because it's actually YouTube sensation and rapper Maddie B when he was like 10. Take a look. Me and your daughter got a special thing going on. You say it's popular. We say it's full grown. Hope that we feel this. Feel this way forever. Can I just apologize for all white little boys on behalf of this guy because that I was kind of embarrassed watching. Well, no, Andrew, listen. He resembled you. I thought that was you. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. I would like the version of Dalta, the way he said it, to be like a yeah, final stage man. spelling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I want my shot. If Maddie B gets a shot, can I have my shot at doing a rap? Exactly. Yes, you yeah. can. Yeah. I, okay. Wait, you need to be? Mm. So, so functified. Uh-uh, that sound queenish. Do it again. <laughs> Pot calling kettle. kettle. 
got your daughter. Andrew uh, points out here on these streets. Yeah. How about the first few lines of Straight Out of Compton? Oh. Oh, wow. Um, I need a prompter for that. <laughs> Show is over, but don't forget to head over to morningsave.com to take advantage of today's great deal. Dish Nation.